is Friday. I am opening the blinds, getting ready to start work for the day. It is cold. I don't know how cold it is out there, but it's cold up in here. I turned the heat on because I had it off because a couple days it's been warm. I don't know. South Carolina does not know what it wants to do with, with its weather, which we're always like that. We're like up and down, up and down. We could be cold one day, next day it's high 70 degrees. But I turned on my little heater down here as well. And then gotta turn off the Christmas tree. Avery's gonna come and turn it back on. I know she is. She likes to have that tree on all day. Going to make me some water and coffee before I work. I don't know if I want any breakfast. I have a couple things I can make for breakfast, but not feeling really hungry right now. Maybe later. I was thinking about maybe having one of these with some eggs and turkey sausage, but I don't know. Maybe a little later. So let's make the coffee. This came from Walmart. This is some really good soup. It's the autumn squash soup, y'all. It's sweet and savory. It tastes really good. I like that. And we had some chicken salad sandwiches on those croissants on yesterday. It was it was nice. Something light and fresh. And like I said, it was cold. Alright, y'all, I'm about to make some breakfast. I'm on my 15-minute break, so I gotta hurry up. Toast of croissant. This smells so good. I'm gonna toast this croissant. I'm gonna put the chicken salad on it. And me and the eggs just can't do it today. There is my chicken salad sandwich on a croissant. I have lettuce and tomato in here. I should have put that on there. Oh, that would have been so good, but we're going to eat it like this. Good morning. It's Saturday. I'm already making breakfast. I got pancakes and eggs going here. And I'm about to make me some coffee. Got some turkey sausage in there as well, but let me show you what I made. Made a few pancakes. Got the eggs right here made me a croissant. I'm going to put some eggs and turkey sausage on there and that's going to be my breakfast. The girls will have the pancakes. Let's make some coffee. And I'm also, I took down the liners in our shower. So I am also washing that. And then after I have breakfast, I'm going to clean our bath. Oh, there's only a little bit left in here and I want to put it in here so bad, but I don't want to get a cup up too much. It's already kind of... And here's my breakfast. Turkey sausage, egg and cheese, croissant, and my caramel coffee. Alright, y'all, so... It's still Saturday. I went to pick up order from Walmart, which they did not have most of the stuff that I ordered as always, but I'm going to show you what I got. I also went to Walgreens, had to pick up a Morris prescription for her inhalers. So I looked around. Walgreens has a lot of stuff for 50% off or buy one, get one 50% off, or buy one, get one free, like their holiday decor. So they had some cute little nutcrackers and stuff in there, but y'all, I didn't mess with them. 
I left them alone. But from Walgreens, I got some mints, pack of gum. What else did I get? I saw these. So they had about four or five different designs. They were $1.99. So we do an advent calendar every year. I have a wooden one with 25 days on it. Well, 24 days on it. And each day I would put either a little surprise for my kids or a piece of candy in it. And they would check it every morning. So this year... I saw these, they were $1.99. They would each get their own individual calendar. So we just gonna do this this year instead of me trying to find something to put into the calendar that we have. And if I can find it, I'll show y'all what that advent calendar looks like. But we've been doing it for about mm, five years. I don't know. We've been doing it in a while. But anyway, I got one that has the reindeer on it. The other one has a snowman on it. So on December the 1st, they will open their first door and take the chocolate out. And each day it has a different number. They will go through it from 1 to 24. So yeah, $1.99, you can't beat that. They get a piece of chocolate every day out of here. And I still may do a small surprise every day as well, but I don't know. I don't know. But I got that out of the way. So that was Walgreens. From Walmart, I ordered me a pair of leggings, which they said they didn't have. Now, if I walked in there, I probably would have found the leggings, but I ain't feel like going in there. So I ordered a, a T-shirt because y'all realized when it was time for me to go out this week and take the kids to the doctor and stuff, so I could barely fit into my clothes. That's not good. I have lost some weight, but not enough. So, and you know, the weather is changing. So it was easier when it was hot outside. I had a lot of dresses and stuff I could throw on. So I really didn't notice the difference in my clothes. But now that it is cooling off, yeah, some of my pants and stuff, I can't fit. So I ordered me a shirt and some leggings. They didn't have the leggings. The shirt has been shipped. So I think I'll get it on Monday. Um... What else did they have? They keep saying they don't have rotisserie chickens. I guarantee you, if I went up in there, they had some rotisserie chickens. Again, I did not go in. And what else did they have? I think that's it. The rotisserie chicken and the leggings. But, y'all, I got these. So, when I saw these on the app, they are shortbread Christmas cookies. It took me back to childhood. I can remember having these cookies as a kid and I have not seen these things in years. And I'm sure they probably been out here in these streets, but I just haven't seen them or thought about them until I saw them on the app when I was shopping. So that's the good thing about the app. You can see everything. So yeah, I, I was like, wow. So I got these holiday shortbread cookies. I am hoping they still taste the same as I remember. I love shortbread cookies. Uh, so I'm excited, y'all. Can y'all tell? I'm excited. Got these chicken patties. I ordered these with our grocery haul, and they said they did not have them. But surprise, a day later, they had them in the store. I think they was in there on Thursday. They just don't like to give me my stuff. And then the last thing I got from Walmart is so cute. I'm going to show you. This cookie jar, y'all, he is the cutest cookie jar. Now, I tried to get the Santa cookie jar. Oh, I'm going to scratch up my table. I tried to get the Santa cookie jar a couple weeks ago. I was told that it was out. I asked the girl to check for this one. I was told they did not have it, but surprise, today they had it. I really feel like they had it the first time. They just don't like looking for stuff. So, my idea is to put my Christmas cookies in my gingerbread man cookie jar. So, I'm going to wash them out real good and put the cookies in there. And then I'll do a taste test on the cookies on camera, so I'll be back. Y'all, they smell so good. Mm, I'm about to try one.
This is like the little wreath because they are different little shapes. Oh yeah, they are still good. I love them. 10 out of 10, recommend. All right, y'all, so I was able to get most of the cookies into the cookie jar. We still got a few over here. Now I'm gonna put his head on and show you how it looks. This is the cutest thing ever, y'all. I absolutely love it. And we know he matches with, hold on, I'm kind of a little bit messy up here. My little gingerbread people up here. So I'll probably move this vase that I have and sit him right there. Now, y'all, I don't know. Is that too much? Let me know in the comments, but that's why I will leave him for now. I love you. All right, so I moved a little plush gingerbread man and i think it looks better but i don't know y'all let me know and i took him i put him in here i'm washing some clothes y'all that's some more blanket down there that i have to wash i set him on the bench right here so i don't know y'all let me know this is a little bit chilly outside today so I have my fireplace over here going. That date is absolutely wrong. We haven't started doing the countdown to Christmas yet. So I think the blocks fell out and Avery just put it back in that way. So it's saying 59. <clears throat> I'm about to turn this dryer back on. We might try to do a uh, vlogmas intro I don't know need to put a more blanket in here but we might try to do that today I don't know if I'm doing that too. but y'all tell me this y'all know it's a little noisy over there over her because I just hit that dry on so at Walgreens there this guy working in pharmacy he was so cute. And I'm trying to figure out what I could say to him. So he had on a wristband uh, that said alpha. So I'm like, oh, my brother is an alpha. You know, or I'm Sigma Gamma Rho. Maybe I could have said something like that, you know, you know, sorority, fraternity related or whatever. But I didn't say nothing. But I mean, how you talk to people when they on their job? You can't be flirting with people when they trying to work. So I'm like, guess that was just a mis misconnection. If it was supposed to be more than that, I guess we'll see. I do go to that pharmacy all the time. That was the first time I saw him. So we shall see. I have to go back there to get Amora's other inhaler. Because she has asthma, y'all, if I didn't say that. So he sent over refills for both of her inhalers. So one was ready today. The other one... They said they'll have it like Monday. So I gotta go back there. I don't know, maybe he'll be in there. We'll see. But y'all tell me also, like what would y'all have done if you see somebody that you think is attractive, but he or she, you know, is at their place of employment in a you know, professional setting, what would you say to them? How would you approach them? You know? Because I'm pretty sure even if he was interested, he's at work. So he probably wouldn't have said anything. But I don't know. I don't know. What you do? Good morning, y'all. So it's Sunday morning. And I just came in the bathroom. And then I realized that I talked about how I fixed my sink. But I never showed you guys what actually was going on with it. So I'm just going to show you now. So this is happening in my bathroom and the girls' bathroom. I do have a double sink, so I didn't have to use this side. But however, in the girls' bathroom, they just have one sink area. But when I was turning 
the faucet on like this to run the water. Water will come shooting from here up under both of the handles and from around this base. All of the water will kind of pull out this area and it will just be a mess. And as you can see now, both handles are on. Nothing is running from under here or the base. So basically what I had to do to fix it was take these handles off. There's a cartridge that sits in here, which is how we're able to turn the water on and off. So I had to replace that cartridge that's down in um, these handles. I ended up only replacing the seats and springs on this side. And then I actually had to pull out the cartridge and replace it on this side. In the girls' bathroom, I replaced the cartridge on the right side as well. So it was the cold side, because this side is the hot side. This side over here is the cold side. So the cold side in both the girls' bathrooms and mine had to have the cartridge replaced. And now it's working perfectly. And I just like to come in here and turn it on, y'all, because I don't see that water running anymore. I'm still shocked that I was able to do it because the guy that came out told me that this whole faucet had to come out and be replaced. And he was trying to charge like $500. And y'all, a quick search on YouTube showed me several videos where people had the same exact issue going on and all they did was replace the cartridge or sometimes just replacing the little seat in the spring down in here solved the issue for them that didn't solve it for me so i had to get the cartridge yeah it was only uh two for fifteen dollars on amazon and then i paid another five dollars for some waterproof plumbing grease that I used on the cartridge before I inserted it down. So I fixed both of my sinks for $20 versus him wanting to charge me $500. And I'm so proud of myself for doing that because like I said, $500 versus $20. And I mean, I should have known something was weird about him because when he came in, he turned the water, the faucet on in the girl's bathroom. And I mean, he immediately said, Oh, it's a hole somewhere. That whole thing had to be replaced. Like, not even checking to see if there's anything else that had to be done. Now, I know it's the holidays and everybody want a little extra coin. But don't try to take advantage of me, especially a single mother. You know, don't try to take advantage of me when you know there's nothing wrong with my sink. That little piece had to be replaced. And then I actually saw it on YouTube where people were saying that I could have gotten... um the actual manufacturer, which is Delta, to send me those parts and I didn't even have to pay for it. But y'all, I was fine paying $20. Look, I paid $20 again versus having to pay him $500. Now in the girls' bathroom, the faucet, their tub faucet needs to be replaced. And I already have one. He told me that would be $25 to replace it. Cool, but I don't think I'm going to get him to do it. The fact that, you know, he didn't tell me the truth or be more honest with me the first time. I don't want him coming back in here, okay? So, either I can do it because I have seen some videos to replace that as well. If dad was saying he probably can replace it. Or my dad. So, we'll see. I'll let y'all know. So, it is still Sunday morning. I am about to go to Starbucks. And pick up an order. So let's go. I have this little sweater on because I know it has to be about 50 something degrees outside. But y'all yeah, be back. All right, y'all. So it's Sunday afternoon. It's like 5:30. I need to cook some dinner. I'm hungry. The kids are getting hungry. So let's something i need to wash up some dishes too so i'll be back all right y'all so i'm gonna make this mashed potatoes this cabbage and then these greens i'm a little mad at myself because the kids eat mashed potatoes but they prefer rice for some reason lately i don't know why i'm not buying rice like i usually always keep a box of rice or something in, up in here so i'm a little frustrated by that 
Got my cabbage all cut and washed up, ready for the pot. I have some onions that I chopped up and then some pre-chopped green peppers in the pan with a little bit of butter. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop this cabbage. Then I will drop the chicken in the air fryer. And the last thing I'll make is the mashed potatoes. Y'all, here I am again in my bonnet about to watch 90 days. But I need to end this vlog. Thank you for hanging with me this weekend. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I will see you on the next video.